This makes the narcissist very angry. After everything you have been through with the narcissist, there is a point in the relationship where you try to heal, where you try to become more like yourself, where you try to develop your authenticity. And when you do that, the narcissist will punish you. They will subject you to pain, loss or confinement. Healing from narcissistic abuse is one of the most difficult things you can do. And it is something that you must attend to as a result of their actions. But when you try to do that, they will see it as an act of defiance, as an act of bold disobedience, a determined opposition against their authority. The narcissist does not want you to heal. They do not want you to become your authentic self. You may have experienced narcissistic abuse throughout your childhood. You may have experienced narcissistic relationships. You may have experienced it throughout your life. But you still choose to remain dedicated to your healing you still choose to pursue your own goals and dreams without seeking the narcissist's approval or validation. You do it for yourself rather than doing it to make the narcissist happy because you want to become your authentic self. But the narcissist is not going to accept that. They're not going to encourage or support you. They're not going to let you become your own separate person. Because once a narcissist has power and influence over you, once they've had a command and position over you, and they've gotten narcissistic supply from you, they see it as though you exist only to give them supply. You have no other purpose in life other than to make them feel more comfortable. At some point you accept that the narcissist's behavior is never going to change. And you start focusing on yourself again. You start trying to become your own person. And when you do that, they punish you. They punish you by withholding money from you or by taking your money away from you. Because they see money as power, as a tool that they can use to keep you under their control. So they use it as a punishment and as an act of revenge. If it's a narcissistic parent, they will cut you out of their will. They will give more to their siblings than they give to you. If it's a narcissistic partner, they will drag you for the courts. They will make a strenuous effort and use every available means to take all of your resources to punish you for trying to become your own person. When you try to become your own person, it makes the narcissist very angry. But sometimes they just won't pay any attention to you. They will ignore you. They will show a lack of interest and concern for you, as though you're unimportant, 
as though you're average or ordinary. They were never very affectionate anyway, but as you go out to become your own person, they will become very cold. They will become very unfriendly to you. They will be full of cheerful high spirits around everyone else. But they will deliberately treat you with a lack of affection and warmth. They will withhold love. They will distance themselves. And they will do it to punish you. Because they know that you want nothing more than to be lovingly protected and cared for. They know that you want to be appreciated. So they will withhold that from you. Until you give up on becoming your own person. Until you give up on your own beliefs and ideals that are separate from the narcissist. Until you give up on your own needs. But if you still continue to develop your own identity. They're not just going to sit back and let you do that. They will start a smear campaign. They will say horrible things about you to anyone who will listen. And people will support their narrative. Because then they feel like they have earned the narcissist's approval and regard. They feel like they are in the narcissist's favour and good opinion. And you may have thought that these people would have offered support and assistance to you. But when you go out to become your own person and the narcissist starts a smear campaign against you. That is when you realize that no one has your back. No one is in your corner. When the flying monkeys come after you. You're as good as dead to everyone who you once thought were on your side. Because now you're in a position of great and irreversible danger and trouble. And they're not going to fight for you. Which leaves you with only two choices. You have to follow in everyone else's footsteps. You have to give up on yourself and be a puppet like everyone else. Or you can escape from their control and lose everyone which can often be a very difficult decision to make. But if you do decide to break free, the narcissist will be opposed to it. They will become your adversary. And while they may not be in your life anymore, they will send you mean emails and text messages. They will use technology to hurt you because you're no longer under their influence or control. You're set in a boundary. And whenever you do that, you should expect their poor ability to manage their extreme and inappropriate emotional responses to be expressed through their text messages or emails because they can't escape their own fantasy of psychosis. They have a strong and unreasoning desire for revenge and it's like they never lose their energy, motivation or enthusiasm to continue doing it. And that's where you get the word salad. That's where you get the unintelligible, extremely disorganized writing which is manifested as a symptom of their mental disorder. They feel entitled to keep sending you this garbage. But it's ridiculous. Because your only offense is living your life and not doing everything in the way that suits them. But whenever you see their emails or text messages, it makes you feel sick. With time, they will lose motivation in doing that. It will no longer be as rewarding or satisfying for them, but they may become more covert. 
they may start monitoring you from a distance without your awareness. And as you try to achieve a sense of individuality, they may take legal action against you. They love hiring lawyers to submit to their orders and perform services for them. Lawyers often act as their fly monkeys and the legal system is set up to reward narcissists. So you may end up with letters from the narcissist lawyer and you may even have to pay for your own to defend yourself from the narcissist. which can take a toll on your mental and emotional health. It can bring you down and leave you in a lot of debt. When you try to become your own person, It is an act of resistance and defiance to narcissistic abuse. They see your authenticity as an offence. So the narcissist will try to get revenge. They will try to punish you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries. You can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.